everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Chakisha Sims and I am here today with a planner related video. In today's video, I am going to show how I make um, laminated dashboard covers with pockets um, for my um, cahier. Some people may call it carrier size traveler's notebook. All right, first, so I want to show you the essentials that I use when I am creating my dashboard covers. Now, there are a variety of different ways on how you could create them, and I do plan on doing a series of how I create my dashboard covers. So, this is part one of the series, and this is just making um, plain um, dashboard covers um, that you can use um, in any size planner, you just have to measure them according to your planner. Now, I'm not good with measurements. I just kind of use um, whatever insert that I'm trying to make a cover for, and that's my template. So what you would need for this particular um, dashboard cover, some type of laminator. Um, this is a Scotch laminator that I got from Target. Corner rounders, in which you would use those if you want to round the the ends of your insert and as well to make a um, little groove in the top of your dashboard to protect it from rubbing on your elastics of course scissors um, a ruler exacto knife you don't necessarily need a craft board but I like to have one of course a paper cutter and I recommend a paper cut cutter instead of a rotary cutter when you're doing um, your dashboard covers that's just me and your laminate pouches and I'm using these smaller ones because I like the size of these for my pockets and I don't have to do a lot of measuring on these so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to um, get everything set up and then I'll be right back okay so I'm not gonna speed this up because I want y'all to see everything that I'm doing in real time so um, this is my little template that I have that I'm just going to lay down and take a fine tip pen I'm um, just kind of dot where I want to cut with my um, slicer that I have sitting above this um, and you can make your markings however you want because you're gonna end up cutting them off but I like to just make a little dot um, and it was kind of hard to see because it had a lot of flowers on this one but um, I'm just making sure that I see where the dot is so when I go to slice it I won't slice it too small or too big um, because the thing of it um, the thing about when you're making your custom dashboard covers and if you're making them the way that I'm going about how I'm going to show you how I'm making them you don't want them to be the wrong size because it'll either have way too much um, hang time um, on the side of your traveler's notebook or it may be too small where it won't actually cover the insert um, that you're using as a um, to cover up with these dashboard covers um, so I always save the scraps after I cut it because they make great decoration um, in your um, and your tins if you want to go for deco so now I'm just trying to figure out how to cut it proportionately and I always just use um, the ones that I've already cut um, because those are pretty much as close to perfect um, as I can get and I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this in my slicer and what I do to make sure it's lined up I push the um, cardstock until I kind of feel the cut portion touch the silver part of the blade and once I feel it I just take it out so I won't cut it again because if you leave it in there you'll recut and you'll end up making your already perfectly cut um, dashboard cardstock too short so what I did now I just turned on my laminator so it can be warming up while I do the next part and now I'm cutting um, the smaller laminate um, for my pockets. And what I like to do is to cut that little tip off because you don't want to keep it there. You want to be able to pull your laminate apart. Um, so I just go in and just slice that off, um, just, just the top part of that. And that's the part that you would normally feed into your um, laminate. You always want to um, 
um, feed the seal part in first. Um, so now what I'm doing is using my already pre-cut pockets and cutting it down to size. Now if you don't have the small laminate sheets, you can use the scraps or you can cut some um, smaller pockets from the bigger um, laminate pouches. Um, but I just do this just because it ends up being a waste if you're not going to be making a lot of these packets if you go and cut the larger sizes. Um, but I make I play around with this a lot so um, I just always make sure I get um, the smaller um, pouches and then I use the big ones as well. So anyway, um, this is when the craft board, and I think as a craft board comes in handy. You don't need it, but it's good because you want to be able to see um, your you see how you're lining up your dashboard covers and a good way to check is just to use one of your insert um, pages lay it down on the craft board and then take your laminate pouch that you're going to use to create the actual dashboard um, over top of it and make sure you have a clean surface because this laminate will suck up everything um, so as you're opening your laminate be very careful because if you open it too fast, it'll cause like um, dents in the laminate pocket. So what I'm doing now is just um, lining it all up. I try to line everything up with the lines, wipe it off, make sure there's no pieces. And now I'm going to um, go ahead and lay it. Now I like to keep a little binding when I do my laminate pockets. You don't have to. Um, you don't even have to cut the um, the cardstock in half like I do. You can leave it in the whole piece once you've sized it to um, match this type of insert that you're using it for. But I don't know, I just like to have a little binding. Um, and maybe in a later video, I'll show you how to do it without um, cutting the cardstock in two. Because again, you don't have to. I just choose to, I just like to have that little binding in between because sometimes my inserts get a little chunky. Um, so now I'm just trying to make sure I have it all lined up before I put the pocket. And all you do is peel that apart very slowly and kind of just move that front piece over to the back. That way the shiny sides are touching each other. So you want the shiny sides to touch and the um, frosted sides to be exposed. Um, so just lay it wherever you want it. If you want it on the bottom, the middle, the top, you can put your pockets anywhere. Um, and I like to use the X-Acto knife because when I say these laminate pockets are hard to move, and then two, you don't want to move them too forcefully because they'll get out of line. So I use the tip of my um, X-Acto knife to kind of tap it to where I want it. So. All I'm doing now is just making sure I don't have any more little pieces on there because once it's laminated, it's going to be inside your pocket. And make sure you move the paper. Um, so now what I'm going to do is feed this through the laminator. Um, the blue light shows that it's heated up, um, and that's if you have a scotch la laminator. And I like to hold my laminate. Um, and again, I'm just showing you that you want that sealed side to go in first. Um, but I like to hold <laughs> my dashboards while I'm feeding it through because I don't want anything to shift and when I have a pocket I normally hold onto the pocket part of it until it actually catches because I have had some oopsies where my pocket has shifted um, too fast and it was a mess. So this is what it looks like once it comes through and that's the side with the pocket. I'm going to do one more um, just so you can see how I did it um, and I'm not going to talk through this one.
Okay, I lied. I am gonna talk a little bit through this one. So this particular one has foil. Um, it's like got the gold foil on the dashboard um, cover that I'm using. It's um, foiled um, cardstock paper. So if any of you know, when you're running your stuff through the laminator, it does get very hot. And to avoid melting or causing any issues, um, you wanna put a plain sheet of printer paper on the bottom side where the um, foil part is. Now, if both sides were foiled, you would put paper on both sides, but because the back side of this has the foil, um, that's why I use the paper just for the back. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and feed this in. And as you can see, I didn't use a template this time because I kind of eyeballed it. The spine part, the little clear, where well, you can see the clear opening, I eyeballed it um, from the one that I have already laying out. So let's go ahead and get this ran through. All right, so I have all four of my dashboard covers all nice and laminated. And now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is to cut the um, excess off. Um, so first, let's do the pockets. It's just easier while it's flat. It is very, very important that you use a metal ruler, in my opinion, because um, the metal, you can actually take the, you can line it up exactly above where you wanna cut, and then you take your exacto knife and you put your blade right on the side of that metal disc. Now, again, I'm not a pro. I've only been doing these for a short period of time, so sometimes my pockets don't always come out, you know, right the first time, so I like to put my knife in there just to kind of open it up and use my hand to, you know, make sure that all the, um, you know, that has got enough space for me to put whatever I need to put in it. Um, so that cut perfectly. So now I'm gonna cut the free edge. And because I have this measured, the cardstock card stock measured pretty perfect, um, perfectly to the size of my inserts, I wanna get as close as possible to the cardstock, but I leave just a little teeny bit of the clear on the top because I don't want to cut into the paper because if you cut into the paper, then you're going to mess up your measurements. And I typically go around all four sides, even the bottom. Um, now a tip, I didn't do it in this video, but a lot of times I like to put my car stock as close to the bottom of the laminate pouch. And right here, I'm just kind of trying to show you how close I get to this little um, shorter part. But when I am putting my car stock in my laminate pouches. Sometimes I try to get it as close to the bottom so I don't have to cut it. Um, so all I would normally have to do is just cut three sides instead of four. Um, but this time, just so I can kind of show y'all as a guide, um, when I was putting the dashboards in, um, I left a little bit off. And I just wanna get this little bit, that's like a little bit too much for me, but you gotta be careful. Um, now it won't open because we have this sealed, we don't have um, another laminate in between, um, but you just don't wanna go in and cut the paper um, because again, it will compromise the size of your um, dashboard cover and then it'll be too short for your insert. And I always like to clean the excess off of my cutter so it won't be extra mess. And so as you can see, that spine that I like to have, and again, I put my hand in there just to make sure everything is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold it over and I use, I don't know the correct name for this little knife thing, um, but it's, I guess it's like a folding knife, um, but you can use anything that has a dull flat edge and you wanna take it and rub it down the whole spine just to make sure that it's closed and sealed. And you'll, you may hear, uh, you're not gonna hear it in the video, but it makes like a little crackling noise to kind of let you know that you're, um, like you're cracking the spine, pretty much. Um, so let's just go ahead and put this insert in to see if it fits, and it is perfect. Like, super perfect. If I would've went any shorter, <laughs> it wouldn't have fit. Um, so, 
let's see what we're gonna do next we're gonna go ahead and do one more just so you can kind of see how I cut the pocket and I'm gonna go ahead and let the video play on this one Now another pro tip, and again, I'm not a pro, I just like saying pro tip. If you have a um, corner rounder, and you can also use a hole punch. Um, I didn't show how to use the hole punch in this, but you wanna get these little corners off because with your elastics, they are rubber band. The um, top and the bottom of your dashboard covers can rub and could cause your elastics to fray or even cause your um, dashboard cover to bend. And I would suggest doing that even if you don't laminate, even if you do paper, cause you don't want it to start being jagged. So I'm using the smaller one because I don't want, I don't need a super big space, but I just go in and cut it and it makes that little groove, um, which is like a little protective um, groove that you put in your insert and I know it's hard to see on this video um, but trust me whether you have the um, corner rounder or if you have a um, paper not a paper clip a hole puncher the not the full hole puncher but like the hand one where you just do the single single punches you can use like the tip of the hole punch to cut a hole and it. it'll have the same effect and let's see how, I mean, it's perfect. It's, this is like one of the most important things that I say you should do anytime you make a dashboard cover. Whether it's laminate, cardstock, or just paper, trust me, you should do it. So I'm gonna just pull it a little bit closer so you can see, and you wanna make sure you get it right in that little part where you cut. And see, it's so tiny, but that little tiny um, cut with the corner rounder makes such a big difference all right, love, so I have finished creating my dashboard covers with custom pockets um, that I am creating for my Kaye, or some people say carrier size traveler's notebook. And you can create this for any size traveler's notebook that you have. You just have to either know your measurements or just create templates. I have templates that I've created for pretty much all of the sizes that I have. Um, now this does have a little bit of hang time, but that's cool with me. It's not going to kill me. Um, Y'all know I like a fatty, oversized, um, chunky planner anyway. Um, so what I did end up doing, I did go back in and round my corners. Um, and I just did them a very, very little bit because they were really, really sharp. And all I did was take the smaller size um, corner rounder in which I use to make the grooves at the top of them um, and I just kind of went in and just chipped off the side just really really lightly just so I wouldn't be poking myself and scratching myself when I go into the notebook so um, this I think is one of the easiest ways to start off making your dashboard covers um, you don't have to laminate them but I feel like when you take the time to craft something and make it your own, you want it to have you know, some longevity. So doing the lamination part of it um, definitely protects it because at the end of the day, cardstock is cardstock, which is nothing but paper. And paper wears and tears over a period of time. And if you wanna you know, continue to reuse these, I highly recommend you doing the laminate. 
Now you don't have to create your own custom pocket. Um, you can just use the adhesive pockets to put on there if you don't, if you're you know nervous about trying it. Um, and by all means, I have not perfected this yet myself. I'm still learning as I'm creating, but I think the unique part of me showing you this is to let to inspire you and give you a little bit of confidence saying like, hey, he should be messing up too, but it still be looking cute. And prime example, um, this pocket right here, I don't know what happened, but it's almost like I got a double pocket <laughs> because the other side of the laminate that I use for the pocket, it, um, I don't know, it lifted up and I don't know if it was, um, just because the laminator, cause I don't like, I don't run my stuff through twice. I probably could have. So I'm thinking maybe the laminate didn't seal it, but just to kind of show you. So this is the back side. <laughs> And then this is the front side. So, I mean, it's kind of cool. I got two pockets in one, but this is just to show you that they don't have to be perfect. You're starting out. Don't beat yourself up when it doesn't turn out exactly how you want it to turn out. Um, and like I said, if you're nervous about doing it, you know, you can get the laminate pockets from a lot of different shops. Um, if you click the link um, in my description box for the 1407 planning um, website, um, they do have laminate pockets and you can get 10% off. I think it's 10% um, if you use the referral link in my description box. So I'll make sure I put that below. Um, yes, 14, so 1407 planning, planning does sell things other than inserts. Um, so just to kind of go over what you can do with your pockets, you can use them to put your sticky notepads in, or you can use your leftover scraps to kind of decorate it up. Like this would be really cute. I can cut it and then maybe put like a die cut over top of it, or you can just stick die cuts in there. Um, or you can use it just to put notepads or something. Um, but you can fit a decent size, um, sticky notepad in there and you can even turn it this way if you don't want to have it long ways um so it's definitely very functional and like i said i will be using this for my um faith planning and never fear i'm still going to be using my classic happy planner um but for the second quarter of the year i'm just changing some things up and adding some additional content um, to my channel um, just so I can be able to show you all different ways to use different planners to do the same thing um, because a lot of times we do have multiple planners we're like well what can I use this for because I have so many travels notebooks and I really really want to um, maximize what I have um, instead of just hoarding it and letting it sit up there looking pretty for pictures <laughs> so um, just make sure y'all stay tuned um, I will this is um, video one in my series of making dashboard covers for beginners um, if you want to see the next one you got to make sure you subscribe subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a new video as well as my Sunday live streams um, and also check the description box out like I said there's some codes in there as well um, I will also um, leave the link um, if you want to order the adhesive pockets from 1407 planning um, like I said they have more than just inserts they have a lot of good things so you guys I hope you like it drop me a comment and let me know what you think um, let me know if you're going to try to make them. If so, tag me or send me the link to your video to show me how you made them. I would love to um, see um, what y'all create from watching this video. And if this video has inspired you, please make sure you share this video with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to be just a little more crafty. So until next time, planner fam, peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.